We're going to begin our report this hour with the volatile situation in Syria where protesters are telling CNN they are not giving up. They don't believe the regime promises. Witnesses tell us dozens of protesters have been killed in a crackdown on the demonstrations today. They say security forces in several cities opened fire on crowds as they marched following Friday prayers. Now, this is a scene that has played out in many different cities uh, across Syria, including uh, very close into the capital of Damascus. It is significant because as the government this last week announced that it was rolling back the emergency law that had been in place about 50 years, some thought things would ease up. They have not, and the demonstrators are not giving up. Let's bring in Hala Garani. She's in Cairo monitoring the unrest throughout the region. She joins us now live. What a day, Hala. All right, absolutely. We uh, were waiting for Friday, Jim. As you know, it's become the traditional day of protest across the Arab world. Syria, no exception this Friday. Uh, we were airing a video there that has come, uh, that has emerged over YouTube and that we've been able to watch of a uh, protester that was shot seemingly and individuals trying to rescue him, get to him, uh, but they're not able to do so because of the gunfire. Take a look at this video so you get a sense of what's going on. All right, and there you see uh, two men trying to get to that injured or deceased protester, but not able to reach him because of the gunfire. Again, we are unable to authenticate or independently verify the video that is emerging online because CNN is still not allowed to report from the country. Well, we are hearing reports and seeing images emerge online from across Syria. Here is uh, a scene from what we believe to be a protest in Damascus. Take a look. Well, of course, you'll remember that on Thursday, Syria's emergency law was repealed and the feared state security court abolished. But anti-regime protesters say those recent concessions are not going to cut it. Arwa Damon has been monitoring developments out of Syria, and she joins me now live from Beirut with more. You've been speaking to eyewitnesses inside of Syria this day. Uh, Arwa, what have they been telling you about what's going on in key cities across the country, including Homs? Well, Hala, what everyone is saying is that the demonstrations really broke out across the entire country. These do appear to be the biggest demonstrations to take place in Syria to date. And it would seem that in just about every single area where people tried to gather, they were met with deadly force by Syrian security forces. A number of people have told us of how Syrian security forces would fire at times directly at the demonstrators. They firmly believe that the Syrian forces were intent on killing them, not just aiming to break up these demonstrations, but really to try to break the spirit of the demonstrators using lethal force. And Hump that you mentioned there, one eyewitness we spoke to said that he saw a man next to him shot dead. The demonstrations there, he says, began right after Friday prayers with people gathering in various parts of the city trying to reach Clock Square at the heart of the city. They were stopped in their tracks by heavy indiscriminate fire. We also spoke with one young man who is from the province of Dara in Isra. He says his father was part of the demonstration there among seven people who we've been told were killed. He says his father was killed in these demonstrations. He was at school at the time. He told us about how he received a phone call telling him about his father's death. As he was walking home, he could still continuously hear the heavy gunfire on the phone. We could hear his mother, this woman who had just lost her husband, sobbing, cursing the regime, and wondering where the rest of the Arab world was, wanting to know, like so many others, how it is 
that there has not been stronger international condemnation of what is happening in Syria. From what we can understand, it would seem as if the demonstrations no longer as large as they used to be. The number of people telling us that they had been forced to leave major routes and they were now in the side streets with one eyewitness telling us that in front of a hospital in Duma, they were staging a sit-in to protect the bodies of the dead from Syrian security forces, Hala. All right, thanks very much, Arwa Damon, live in Beirut.